win. MDK has to win. Yeah. Niski laid out the red carpet for yeah, you. Yeah, they have to win. Yeah. I know. I saw Miru and I saw Super and they were like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, like, but, you're uh, now they're thanking us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is one team that will get to skip the first round. One team that gets to be the big boss. If MDK win fast enough, they get to be the big boss. If not, it's Vitality. So we'll keep track of it as we get later in the game. For now, Zolis. Just keep track of that life bar because it is rapidly disappearing. Supa going in, hitting him with the Keck W. Keeping it going. Harkoon now getting lower and lower. I don't think they're going to be able to finish this kill, but MDK playing with a lot of aggression on the bottom side. Will get the flash out as well. Not the start that you want for Rogue. Turns to have when the enemy team, all of their money, all of their lead really is just on that Zeri. MDK setting up around three Krugs. The charge now coming out. Alvaro might be the one in trouble, but a nice three-man stun. An instant turn back on the engage. They're going to start trying to find the resets. If Marcoon goes down, the Sugwani already down. The reset can now come through for Elio. He can pick up the body. He can keep it going. He dodges the hook as well. In the meantime, MDK. In the blink of an eye, just elite rogue in the fight. Retreat! That was not how Finn would have liked to start that one off. <laughs> to, to dismount To him. dismount him, right? Yeah. yeah. So it does kind of come a little bit tough. It's kind of rude. Like, you're just beating up on the lizard and then letting the Yordle get away with it over and over again as Marcoon taking a lot of poke here. Good damage onto Alvaro. That ulti completely whiffing. And the excellent play previously uh, counterbalanced by a bit of a fumble there, a bit of a whiff. This is what we're talking about, you know, MDK, these little mistakes when they have the leads coming back to bite them. Now it's Rogue in that position on towards Rift Held. It's Rogue who Larson pushing in that top side and MDK. Or V5, they're stepping in here. Yeah, Supa's still incredibly strong. As long as they can lock up Supa, but the ulti already going down and hits El Yoya, however. But immediately, press the charge, pull the trigger. Harold going to drop. Quick kill picked up for Rogue. Item. <laughs> well, there's a lot of members of Rogue coming down here. I think Alvaro wasn't Who's quite spotted. Marcoon when I see. TP in from the side of Rogue. Mirwin locked it. They're trying to immediately delete the Renekton, and they're successful. Rogue got what they came for. Now they can just focus down the tower. Finn demounts, but it's the perfect way to drop tower aggro. Rogue. Clean pick, and Frescali is still a mile away from that tower on the top side. No TP for because Rogue. Not having that luxury because Finn TP to save top lane means they're going to use this window to group on mid and try and dissuade MDK. Good All Weaver's ball to through. keep Rifkarl off. But they're just going to go somewhere else. They're just taking their time. He just drifts it. He's ready for this. Oh, he missed it. He misses completely. Oh, oh no. no. The ulti goes down. He's now on the backside of the fight. He's laughing in the chat, and Mirwin gives his life. That was bad. That was t everything about that was bad. Look, we're all going to take a breath and we're just going to reset. Look, he, he's just used to riding boards. The bottom side for Mirwin. We're trying to TP in behind. Alti. Trigger pulled on the fight. Frescali waiting over the wall. I think hoping to lay the rocks down or find the angle. All of Rogue hesitant to go in. Alvaro going to try to get the fight off. Mirwin now going to look small. Supa immediately going to all fin trying to isolate that AD carry, but he's already been dismounted and he's about to die. Supa finds the kill in an instant. So far, just a one for one trade. Dragon getting lower. MDK, do they just want to turn back? Super harassing once the ulti fades off. We'll be a little bit weaker. Rogue, is that their time to re-engage? Poke coming through. Mirwin stepping up. Nice wall to get the rest of Rogue away. Flick back, not going to connect. Dragon going to drop, though. About to reset, but MDK got their prize. Their split, though, as they retreat. Rogue, do they want to keep going forward? The flash forward on the press alley. It does not connect. Marcuna again whiffing. Two plays back to back. A little bit rough here. We'll be able to retreat, but MDK, again, they get the objective. Ultimately, all that matters. So at least didn't have his ultimate up. It's now available. Pump. Pump, trying to get the poke down. Rogue. Frustration. I feel like Marcoon you can see him. retreating on the top side. Laid down a little bit of vision. Have an angle to approach. If MDK get over eager. Again, the time break point, 26.58. Alvaro locked up, though. The engage coming in for Rogue. Looking to lock him down. He's not going to push a single button. The follow-up there from Soelisa. Great ultimate, but Tuba already retreating. Gets out just barely. Cost him his flash, cost him his barrier. Like now they want to try and turn over towards the bar, and you still have the TP on Finn to get here. Will be a four versus five. El Yoya the has to too. try and get in here. Semi-global, but he's not going to use it instead. Trying to group with the team. TP from Mirwin, objective getting lower and lower. El Yoya goes into the fog. Finn cannot see him. Instead, Finn, he pulled up the wall into Supa. Might have a bit of a spectator bug there. The Baron gets a bit of health back. El Yoya still hovering around. But this should just go in favor of Rogue. Instead, MDK going to try to settle for the consolation prize, but Rogue grabbing the Baron. Excellent pick onto Alvaro, paying off, allowing them to get access to that objective. Yeah, and 40 left on it. 30 seconds till Mountain Soul, however. MDK committing a lot of resources on the top side. Rogue, smartly though, keeping their vision bot lane. They do not want to give up Mountain Soul. Mirwin now locked up, and it's just going to get burned down here. Double dash out, but 
will fall. Again, Larson's damage too powerful. Top lane are going to be dead for when that bear are on the objective. Uh, yeah, we'll just retreat here. If they'd found Larson, they might have immediately gone for it again. Just deleting that Corky makes this next fight so easy. Otherwise, it's quite tricky. Wall coming in, though. They found the angle. Comp waiting over the wall, but he can't join the fight. It looks like the support taken out. Double TP's now coming in. Oh, you can look for the reset. Pick up the Nautilus body. Look to follow up. Rogue getting pushed back. Flash in. They managed to hook Finn. That's going to be clutch. Finn going to get taken out. He dismounts, but there's just nowhere for him to go. Double kill for MDK. Rogue knew they were on the top side, but they took the risk anyway. Finn was pushing in a bot side, so instead of just letting the waves push and potentially trade tier two for tier two. Get on top of him. Flash for the rail. One combo could be the death of comp, but they Good turn on Alvaro. Engage comes in. Alvaro immediately going to get burned down. Now the rest of MDK has to try and recover. Marcoon finds a bit of redemption there as he finds the angle, takes the support out of the equation. Stun on Amir when Larson immediately going to try to fall off the ulti going down, but Supa still standing. But no, the meat grinder rogue. The entire front line immediately on top of him. MDK fumble, get caught out. So much confidence, and they're punished for it. The ult from Marcoon was huge. For the barn as well. I mean, if they want to be aggressive here, Elio is in the area. It is a bit risky, but Elyoya doesn't want to flip it. The rest of Rogue now stepping up to cover just to make sure. If Comp gets involved, they'll shred this, but Larson does so much damage, he might not even need to. Rogue going to grab their second Baron of the game. Further extend their gold lead. Extend that way more if they're hoping to close this one out cleanly. And buy more time to scale. Stack up, Marcoon tries to disengage, wall laid down, they know Comp has no summoner spells, they're gonna try to delete him out of the fight before it even kicks off, Comp holding out to safety, Larson now trying to protect, Alvaro gonna be knocked up, but that means Supa is free to do whatever he damn well pleases, Olis finding the kill, support versus support overall, now one taken down, the reset, Nautilus body coming through, but there's no objective on the map, they're just slowing the Baron no down. Effect. They try and get another Baron buff gone here, Finn, overextending the side lane. All of Rogue now looking to class, Finn trying to flash to safety, but Alvaro is here, interrupt from Marcoon is big, Finn locked up for an extra moment, he's about to demount, he should just drop, all of Rogue, you can see immediately the call is back away, there's no opportunity here. This Baron buff is honestly... Oh, flash back up and available, Zonya's completed as well, this Kai'Sa can take over the fight. Similar story on the opposite side, and this time around, so Elise the one caught out and deleted. Comp nowhere to be found. He doesn't hit the brace here for the CC now coming in, but it's Supa on the back line. Supa in the clutch, the flip back coming through. Finn demounted. Another kill to come in. MDK on the hunt. The wall coming down, looking to tear Rogue out of playoffs. Bring them back for a tiebreaker. The Kais that could have been crucial, but the Kaisa wasn't. We missed the Baron setup now, but it looks like Rogue were not able to rush it. Now going against the Mountain Soul. Supa locked up for a moment, but he manages to make it out over the wall. Now it's Frescawi who's in trouble, but the instant re-engage comes in from Alvaro, and it's Larson who's in trouble. Larson who has to run for his life. Oh, on the backside. Gonna finish for the goal, gonna finish for the reset, but he's slowly getting taken down. Has to ult back out. Rogue retreating beautifully. So Elise already down, but another one going to fall. Marcoon taken out of the equation. It's MDK now with access to the Baron. And this would be the first one, for the one chance they need to end this out. An incredible turn, a back and forth game thus far, but finally. Early game was good. Rogue brought it back, brought it into their control. Got the finish was against Casey, but they threw it all away. A game that was won. This could have been their finish. This could have been no tiebreakers if they had found that win there. They could have been at three wins, but instead, find themselves locked up. Supa needs to backstep. Rogue starting to poke. Mirwin now in trouble, but the tower already down. Supa unafraid with the Nautilus ult out of the equation. He knows he's untouchable. Mirwin goes top. MDK just need to back away. Marcoon and Finn are the only engaged tools, and Larson's on the flank. Hook goes oh, wide. From Finn, the hook goes wide. Larson on the side, wants to get something back. Finn demounted. They have to retreat now. This next wave, MDK continue to push. They can set their sights. Top lane tower, top inhibitor. Finish it out clean. There's no follow-up from Rogue, though. They're trying to throw everything in, but Larson's not getting the damage down. Comp's not getting the damage down, and MDK, in four versus five scenarios, are getting to squirm their way out of it and get inhibitors. Rogue, need to find the angle. So they can't find it here. A few minutes. Here, one keeping the pressure on. Zoelis hits the hook, but only on to Alvaro. Elio El following. Supa still untouched. Supers crashing on that tower. Hope starting to bloom for MDK. Oh, this is one of three that they will need. They're keeping forward. The pushback is there. Rogue falling to pieces. The final moments. MDK do not hesitate to start the fight. 
The Nexus, all that matters. Finn tries to turn it around with the charge. Finn tries to get anything done, but Larson doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of mana. Marcoon already down. Everything crumbling for Rogue. MDK keep their dreams alive. They keep Vitality alive. They get the Tidebreaker, and they will see Rogue one more time at the end of today. Triple for Elio to end. MDK stay standing. MDK wiped the sweat off their brows at the end of that one. But the job has only just begun. Two tiebreakers left to play. And you can see the faces on Rogue. They had us at so many opportunities in that game. But MDK refused to give up. Definitely did. At LEC on X, player of the game, El Yoyo Frascawi Supa. It's not the only time you'll get a chance to vote.